Hello, welcome back. Right, I hope in these now interesting times that we're living in for the uh, foreseeable future that you're all well and your families are too. Um, like I said, these are interesting times. I'm sure you know what I'm referring to. At the moment, I am sort of self-isolating uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, it's tricky, but, you know, we'll get through it. Uh, right, so the purpose of this video. Last year, I um, reviewed Aliens Neoplasma from um, Sanchez uh, team, which was a, an absolutely fantastic game for the 128KZX Spectrum. Spectrum, um, and obviously based on the uh, Aliens franchise. Uh, I'll link the video uh, to that, the video review that I did um, to that um, in the description box below, so you can actually check the game out itself. But... Very, very graciously, um, Eugene Somlin, who runs the Sinclair uh, channel, um, has sent me the game on cassette. And here we have it. And I'm just going to have a quick overview of this. Very, very nice um, artwork there. Very uh, intimidating there, as those xenomorphs are. You can see it's a Sinclair release. I will pop a link to the web shop um, down below as well, so that if you want you can also purchase this on cassette i know a lot of you like uh, the homebrew cassettes and here we go it's cellophane wrapped and it's really really nice can't really sort of see too much from the screenshots there but that's to do with my um uh, camera as opposed to the actual quality of the uh the inlay itself and you see help lieutenant ashley to beat the greedy corporation space beast and the crazy computer don't let the aliens reach the earth Right, so let's get this open, if we can. And I don't know how long it takes to load, because, like I say, I've um, this is the first time I've uh, opened it. Now, um, Evgeny's channel, the Sinclair channel, is um, a predominantly Russian-language channel. Um, he's now started to add English subtitles to his uh, videos, which is really, really great, um, because some of his videos are fascinating uh, on the history of the uh, the spectrum in the Russian-speaking territories. Evgeny himself is from Ukraine. So let's get the cellophane off here, if I can. Whoops. There we go. And there we have it. So let's have a look inside. See what we get. There's our cassette. Aliens Neoplasma. Looks like that's going to take a long time to load. Look at the length of that tape. So you're going to listen to me waffle for a bit. Uh, let's just pop that in the, the spectrum ready to go. And let's have a look at what we get on the inlay. So there we go. Sanchez Crew, Design and Coding, Alexander Udatov. Graphics, Evgeny Ragulin. Music and effects, Oleg Nikitin. English version by Sinclair. Russian Federation 2019. This game cassette was designed and recorded by Sinclair ZX Studio. And there are all his contact details there. And there we have some useful hints. Press down and jump to jump off boxes. Beware of doors controlled by the mad computer and try to trap face huggers under them. Interact with blinking objects by pressing the up button. You can stop fans for, for a while by throwing grenades into them. There we have the Sanchez crew team themselves, who are responsible for this and other amazing bits of software. And there's a preview of Delta Shadow, which is coming for the Spectrum and the Spectrum Next very, very soon. So let's get into it, um, and I'll waffle for a bit, like I said. Now, this Spectrum uh, does have one or two issues when it comes to tapes at times i don't know whether or not i need to sort of like replace the belt sometimes i need to uh once or twice um sort of like rewind it and fast forward it before i can get it going but like i said this is a 128k only game now there are many many um fantastic homebrew games um constantly being released for the, uh, the spectrum and that is a fantastic um state of affairs so we see here we are loading and, and like I say it's great that the uh, the machine is being kept alive after all these years as it heads into its 38th year um, it's really really amazing and some of the games you know if they were released back in the day you'd quite happily have paid uh, full price for them but here we go um, we're loading Aliens Neoplasma now like I said this is the first homebrew uh, on cassette that I've ever ever um owned 
so that's really sort of strange for me. I did stop collecting tapes uh, some time ago, but um, the quality of this, uh, the, the presentation all round is great. And like I said, in the um, description box below is the link as to where you can get it from. Now there's a fantastic loading screen there. Let's just zoom in and uh, just adjust the camera a bit so you can see that whilst it loads. Now, like I say, I have no idea how long this is gonna take. Probably quite a while. There we go. How's that looking? Yeah, that looks fine. So, um, yeah, um, at, <laughs> what have I been doing the last sort of couple of weeks whilst uh, this, um, you know, virus has been doing the rounds? Well, I've been um, sort of like uh, playing a lot more on the, the sort of retro computers than um, I had been, but I hadn't recorded any stuff for uh, videos of late. I've been um, a little bit stuck for ideas, really. Um, the last couple I did uh, was Quick Draw McGraw, um, which seemed to be quite sort of popular, actually, for uh, a game that was one of the sort of relative um, unknowns, and also the Commodore 64, the excellent version of um, Attic Attack that was released last week. And I've been playing on the uh, the C64, um, the Amstrad, and the Spectrum mostly, and I realised that I've been sort of neglecting the MSX and the BBC Micro of late, and those are things that now I've got a bit of time, I'll get back into doing. But um, yeah, it's uh, strange sort of times, but um, hey ho. Uh, how have you all been coping? I hope. Um, You've all been sort of like managing um, to to do pretty well. Um, your families are all okay, etc. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this while the game loads in, and then I'm going to go into uh, the game. We'll come back and I'll just. Uh, in fact, no, I'm just going to carry on because if I do that, uh, that means I've got to take the SIM card out of the com out of the um, the phone, put it into the computer, put the two bits of video together. And then, um, and then what? And then um, upload it from the, the laptop. Whereas if I keep it all as one big long video, um, I can just do it in one for, straight from the phone. I will, in the description box below also, put in a timestamp to show you exactly where um, the gameplay starts so that you don't have to listen to this um, amazing amazing waffle that i'm doing the sun's shining out there it's uh, really quite a nice day um i've been out for a walk and it's important to obviously still keep um getting exercise and stuff like that and it's amazing sort of um how few people there are around on the streets um we haven't had too much um problem with shopping and stuff like that we've managed to get some of the bits and pieces we needed other stuff I, you know, can't get for love nor money. Um, bars of soap, hand gel, paracetamol. Uh, luckily, we're okay for the time being for those kind of things, but um, some other people might not be. So, you know, it's just a case of exercising a bit of uh, restraint and trying to think of uh, other people um, when you go out and about doing your shopping. Obviously, you know, a lot of people are very, very concerned Um about the state of their employment, whether or not they'll sort of have jobs, etc. Um, and I can only sort of express my deepest, deepest um, sympathy um, for you all if you're in that position and hope that you come through the other side, um, however long that may be. Um, don't know yet, do we? Everything's all up in the air. But questions, 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 whilst this um, uh, sort of loads in, we're still not even sort of halfway through the tape. So, what have you been um, playing yourselves lately? Um, I did download... I don't often buy modern games. I've said this before. I'm not really particularly enamoured by um, many sort of modern games. I, I tend to find them sort of a bit dull. I much prefer playing on these um, older machines. Um, but I did buy... I, I had to renew my PlayStation... Um, subscription the other well I didn't have to um, but I decided to anyway and one of the March games for PlayStation Network was Shadow of the Colossus now that was a 
bloody amazing game and I did have that on the PlayStation 2 when it was first released like God knows how long ago I think it was about 15 years old now absolutely absolutely fantastic game that one is I never managed to get very far on it I think I got to perhaps the third um, Colossus and never could get any further than that um, my daughter's been enjoying sort of playing that and she's got to the fourth or fifth one she hasn't been playing it a day um, great game but I also download, downloaded um, Doom Eternal as well which I was uh, having fun with despite even uh, just playing it on the, the lowest difficulty level I still found it um, quite tough to play but it's good fun it's just bonkers so I've uh, been playing that uh, a little bit lately uh, having sort of a good fun on that sort of uh, is very very gory and very very over the top but um, good good fun so if you are one of the people who has downloaded uh, Doom Eternal then um, what do you make of it have you um, did you enjoy it I did prior to that I think the previous sort of PlayStation game I'd bought was Modern Warfare um, and then before that I think it would have been bloody hell might have been Red Dead Redemption 2 and I bought that for my kids not for me because I I wasn't really sort of um, into it so what have we got here I think the game's loaded so let's just stop the tape here we go Now, like I said, this game came out last year and I did review it then. And like I said as well, check out the um, the video down below, uh, which is linked down below. So we can see here, I'm only going to do the gameplay very, very quickly. Um, just because you can see the, the actual full review of it yourself down below. Some great sort of um, exposition here. Giving you the plot. Medical Lieutenant Ashley Smith. Right, so let's uh, redefine our keys. How do we... Uh, how do I come down? Right. Ah, right, what's... Um, can't remember what button to press here. Oh, oh blimey. Oh, I messed all them up. <laughs> can't remember what key right uh, no it's not Q it's not a right M okay so Q a O P grenade will have M space for shoot I'll have N for jump and H for pause and skip yeah okay I think I can remember those right so let's play the game can't shoot as yet because I haven't got anything to shoot as you can see from the head down the bottom now everything about this game is is great the graphics have got so much detail in them um, and it really sort of captures the sort of alien universe if you like and the music is great as well Nope, not that way. So these first aid stations, if I press up when I'm in front of them, it will activate them the same way with any kind of consoles, etc. You see, we've got a big fuck off alien down there.
<laughs> face hugger just jumped into the um, into the fan. Right, so now I've got a gun. There we go. And I've got 10 grenades as well now. Ah! Oh, I just blew myself up. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played it. Give me that. Give me that at least. Oh, I'm dead. I forgot that alien was in that room. Let's try once more. There we go. Fill it with lead. So great um, design on the uh, the creatures there as well. So there we have it. Oh, flipping heck. Um, now what you can do here is you can drop grenades down like that. Excellent. Okay. There we go. That's, um, oh, I'm just going to let it get me. That's Aliens Neoplasma for the ZX Spectrum. 128k like i said there will be um a link in the description box below where you can purchase this from um it's an excellent game it's a wonderful gift thank you very much eugene i really really appreciate um the gesture okay thanks ever so much for watching if you like the video please let me know if you wish to subscribe please do so but if you do subscribe as i always say please take the time to join in with the discussions in the comment section below. Thank you ever so much. Take care. Goodbye.